Hey, it's Mars, and this is Let's Make a Dungeon Crawler Part 4. In this video, we'll be making our health bar. In the last video, we set up our user interface, but we didn't test it out. So I'll go to the Play Game window and add our RPG UI scene to the build settings here in the All Game Scenes. And then our Level Manager has the Play Blocks. If new game equals true, load RPG UI. So if we save and then give that a test, our RPG UI is loaded. Great. So let's add our health bar. If I go to the RPG UI scene, I'll enable 2D and press F on my canvas, we'll see that it comes with a health bar already. Now I don't want that one since I'll be making my own. However, we don't want to delete it. And that's because if I click on the canvas, we'll see that this canvas, this this whole user interface is being controlled by a C-sharp script called PlyRPG UI. And this controls everything in the user interface, the bag, the character sheet, the action bar, and even uh, the health bar that comes with it. So if we were to delete these game objects, the, scripts wouldn't, the script wouldn't be able to find the game objects and we would get some nasty errors in our console. So should you not want to use something that comes with the RPG UI will simply grab those game objects and disable them. I'll use Alt Shift A. And now we're ready to make our own health bar. I made some health orbs that you might see in uh, a typical dungeon crawler in Photoshop, and I put those up on Open Game Art if you'd like to download those um, and follow along. I'll put the link in the description and I'll grab these once they're imported in our project window I will grab everything except for these scrolling textures and I'll change the texture type to sprite and hit apply and now we can drop these images onto our canvas so I will right click and create a UI image and we'll drop our background in there and notice it looks a bit squished and that's because on the bottom right we can see that the image size is 230 by 108 pixels so I'll change that up top 230 by 108 and then I want to snap it to the bottom left of my screen so I'll click on the crosshairs in the rect transform and use alt shift left click and I'm going to rename this let's call this health orb and I'll copy paste that and put this inside as a child and we'll choose the second background I have here this one is 210 by 210 pixels and then if I remember correctly it was supposed to be 10 pixels to the right and 10 pixels up I'll rename this to background and then let's change the color to a bit darker at around 139 so that's looking good I will copy and paste this and this one can be the border this game object was 230 by 230 I'll change the color back to white and then snap it to the bottom left that looks good and then we need our fill that's what we'll be filling up with our health let me rename this to border and then I'll copy paste the background put it as a child let's rename this to fill and put in our fill image and let's give it a red color let's go with 186 60 60 alright so right now the image type is set to simple We'll change that to filled, but we don't want it to be a radial 360 fill, so let's change that to vertical. And the fill of our health bar will be a float between 0 and 1. And to calculate that, we'll simply do our current health divided by our maximum health. And that will give us a number between 0 and 1, and will allow our health bar to accurately show how much health we have. So those ply blocks we will put in the parent, just the health orb game object. They can go anywhere, but I'll put mine in the uppermost parent. 
So let's add a ply game ply blocks. And we will say common and we'll use late update. We could use update, however, late update occurs more often and will provide us with the most accurate um, visual readout for our health. And then we want to use flow if and we want to go to character and use the player is ready block and that's because the ply blocks we're about to put in are going to calculate current health divided by maximum health and if our player is dead or if our player isn't in the scene yet uh, we're going to get some errors in our console so whenever we're, ch we're checking on attributes with our user interface we'll make we need to make sure our player is ready and then we'll go to common and use the set property block and we'll drag our fill, which is a child, right in here. Now if I click back to the set property block and use the drop down, we can choose image, fill amount, and we want to do current health divided by maximum health, and attributes are floats, as is the fill amount, as we can see down here, is of type float. So let's go to the math category and we'll use float a divided by B, and we want to go to character, get attribute, and we want the consumable or current health from player divided by our value or maximum health of player. And that's it. So our health bar is done. But before we move on, there's a few things I'd like to add. So I'm going to create a new image. I'll just copy paste the fill and set its color to white. We'll choose for the source image, let's use a highlight. And I don't need this to be an image type of filled. We'll set that back to simple. So and I'll also rename this to highlight. So as you can see, my transparencies have turned a bit gray. And that's because when I made these images in Photoshop, I was unfortunately using blending modes such as um, screen or overlay. And then also I'll copy and paste this for my shadows. And I'll rename this shadows. And unfortunately, this looks bad too, because I photoshopped it to be used with a multiply blending mode, which um, the canvas doesn't have. Um, and we'll also see that the images have slots for materials, so I'll make those now. Let's create a material, we'll call this GUI light, and I'll make another material called GUI dark. And on our interface, on our canvas, we're supposed to be using not the standard shader, but sprites or UI sh uh, shaders. So if we use the UI default on these, and then I drop this into the material slot for the source image, they look the same. However, I found that if we go to, let's say, my highlight image, and we change the shader I made from UI to a particle shader, this is the, the blending modes I was thinking of. So an additive shader gives me the transparency I was looking for. And then for a dark, we would do a particles multiply. So that looks much more like what I was going for. Unfortunately, particle shaders on a canvas are going to put errors into our console because they're missing a few things in the script. So I've made some very small adjustments, just enough so that we don't get any errors. And I'll also put those in the description if you'd like to download those and follow along. So we'll go to these materials, the GUI light, and we'll choose It's Mars GUI light. And for the dark, we'll choose It's Mars GUI dark. And these are basically just the additive and multiply particle shaders 
edited so that we won't get any console errors so that we can use them on our interface. I'll also go to edit project settings player and I'm going to and your your color space will start out as gamma and I think the orbs look a little bit better when we set the color space to linear however they get a bit dull so we could also copy and paste the, uh, the highlights a few times I'll do three copies and that looks just about fine right there so now I've got my shadows with the dark material and my three I have three highlights with my light material and the materials using the modified shaders that I made and then you'll also notice when our health goes down these shadows and highlights stay on top of the orb making it look much more 3D so we could stop here but there's actually one more thing I'd like to do and that is to use scrolling textures so images can't move uh, aside from filling they can't be moved however textures can so I'm going to right click and let's do UI raw image and this is a child of my fill and I'll put my scrolling fill texture this is not an image but a texture and then I'll change the wrap mode from clamp to repeat and now we'll see and I'll also change the image size or actually I'm gonna click on the rec transforms crosshairs here and I will alt shift and then on the very bottom right we have a stretch blue arrows and I'll click on that so now my raw image if I was to move the Y offset we can see that my image is scrolling unfortunately it's sticking out on the corners and that's because the raw image doesn't have the transparency like my sprites do so what I'm simply going to do is add a mask component to the fill game object and that makes it so it's children, the game objects inside of it, can only be seen on top. And once again, the lower in your hierarchy, the closer you are to your foreground. So since the raw image is lower in our hierarchy, it appears above the fill. I'll change the image color from white to 153, 80, 80 and then a transparency of 76. So we can hardly see it, but if we were to move this Y offset, we can see that it looks nice and uh, liquid inside. However, we need a script now to move this offset for us. So I've written a very simple c -sharp script that I'll also put in the description if you'd like to download that. And we'll drop this on to our raw image, and we'll set the vertical speed to 0.1 and that will slowly scroll our Y offset upwards. Very nice. And I know I keep saying we're almost done, but there's even one more thing that I really wanted to add. It's completely unnecessary. You could stop now, but this is looking so good I just couldn't help myself. So we're going to actually copy and paste the fill. And I'll put this above so that it appears behind since it's higher in the hierarchy. And I'm going to name this lip and its child. Let's name this lip scroll. And then for the fill, we can name this fill scroll. So let's say our fill is current health divided by maximum health. We could make our lip current health divided by maximum health plus one so that it always appears a little higher than the fill making it look like there's a surface to the liquid inside of our orb here so for the lip let's do a color of 186 60 60 
And then for the scroll, we could do 203, 128, 128, 76. So you can hardly see it, you can barely see it, but it's just going to add uh, a little bit of realism for our orb. And then instead of scrolling upwards, we can scroll sideways. Let's do a horizontal speed of 0 0.05. So that, oh, actually, our scroll should be the lip scroll texture. And then we'll also make sure that that is set to repeat instead of clamp. So now if we go to our lip scroll game object, and we move the X offset, it should look like the surface of the liquid is moving. Now, if we go back to the parent and check the ply blocks, we're setting the fill to health divided by maximum health. So I'm just going to copy and paste this block, and instead of setting the fill amount for our fill, we'll set the fill amount for our lip this time and we will do current health divided by maximum health plus 0 0.01. So I'll grab this A divided by B and cut. We'll go to math and use float A plus B. And I'll paste that back in. And now we want a, a very small float. So let's go to common, float, and let's do 0 0.01. So this will put the surface of our health just a little bit higher, uh, the surface of our lip just a little bit higher than our regular health. So let's save that. And let's go back to our level one actually. And then I wanna test this very quickly. So let's make an empty game object. I'll call this debug logic. And we'll add a ply blocks component. And in here we're going to do common on update flow if input key goes down and let's just say spacebar. We're going to go to character and let's set, I guess change our health, consumable health of player by negative 50 so that we can see how the health bar looks. Let's test it out. So here is our health orb. I'm going to hit the space bar. And there we've got the lip on the surface of the health moving sideways. The orb itself is moving upwards. And um, I think it looks really nice. I hope that was, um, wasn't too difficult to follow along. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. Uh, maybe a bit overkill, but like I said, I think it looks really nice and why not? Um, so that's all for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and if you learned something, hit that like button. Join me next time where we will make our experience bar.